Hey y'all, this is Barbara. I just wanted to share my second mini album with you. Um, I made this, I finished it today. Um, I started on it probably about four or five days ago and I have worked on it quite a bit. Um, spent a lot of time working on it, but this one was a lot easier to do because the first one I made was for my friend Cindy and um, the the reason was she had, her husband had passed away and I wanted to give her something special so this one is for a totally different reason thank God um, this is just for a friend because she's my friend and I love her and um, I wanted to do something special for her and she's she's new into the she got a cricket machine um, probably maybe six months ago and she's new into the crafting as far as the cricket she's always been a quilter and she does things like that but anyway I wanted to make her something special so this is what I came up with so um, y'all just bear with me and again I'm new at this video and too so here we go um, this is the front page and these are these are glued down these don't come out and this is a little pocket with the cinnamon on it and a little flower there and then these pockets right here have um little tags in them one of them's got our old band director and this page right here represents where we met we've known each other since probably 1970 she was in um we went to high school together. We both played the clarinet. She was a year younger than me. And um, This right here is a picture of our band director. I'm not going to let you see that. But he's not dead yet, but he's still around. <laughs> um, but we met in the band, and that's how our friendship started. And we've had a very, very unique friendship and a very deep love for each other and then this right here is our school logo i got this off the internet so i'm not sure if that's exactly what it was when we went to high school um, i graduated in 1973 so my memory may fail me just a bit here um, just kidding i do remember that that was our logo but i'm not sure about these and this right here this page i got this from somebody else's mini album i was looking on youtube and um, they were making it for their daughter, and it, I guess their daughter may be going to fashion school, designer school or something. But anyway, I thought it was cute. So it just, to me, it reflects the, the change of the clothes, that, um, the, the way the clothing has changed so much since we were in school. Um, in fact, when I was in, started high school, you couldn't wear pants. I think in the ninth grade, you had to wear yeah, we never got to wear pants until I started the 10th grade, and then you got to wear pants, which was <laughs> so wonderful. Um, and now, we won't even get into that, what they wear at school. Um, and then this page right here, um, these little tags right here, I got some stuff off the internet. And this one was really cute. It says, friends are the family we choose for ourselves. And I started to laugh when I printed it out because... We all have family members that we wish we could give to our enemies, but um, we're stuck with them. Um, I was adopted, so my mom always said I was chosen. Me and my brother were chosen, so uh, I don't look at family as... Uh, my view of family is a little bit different than some people's. But anyway, I made this little pocket, and it has uh, the word friendship on there. And I made that little flower. You know I love the flowers. And then this is my all-time favorite page. Um, I made this little pocket. And this pulls out. And then this tag pulls out too. And then this page right here represents my friend and I and I'm all into the pink and the bling and she's more conservative than I am and some of these pages are rolling up but that's all right I'm not perfect so the book's certainly not gonna be perfect um, and this represents her and um, it just kind of signifies how different we are but yeah we're so similar we um, both love to craft and 
Um, we both loved music. She played the clarinet, and I did too, and then I was a majorette, and we just have so many things in common, but the bottom line is that we love each other, and we've been through thick and thin together. Then this little pocket, my husband helped me figure out how to do this. I can, um, I, I am the world's worst at not being able to, um, figure things out. I can look at something and I can't follow directions either. As my son-in-law says, I can't comprehend. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, and then this right here, this is the last page and some of this stuff is coming up. I'm glad I'm showing it to you because I'll have a chance to glue it back down before I mail it to her. But anyway, um, I got the um, the binding for this off of YouTube. Um, I think the lady's name was Enjoy Stampin' YouTube. And um, she gives such easy-to-follow directions. And like I just said, I don't follow directions very well, especially if they're written. Um, my daughter... Carol Ann, if, if I have something that I have uh, to put together and it's written, I have to let her read it. And then she has to tell me how to do it because I just, I can't comprehend it. But anyway, the instructions were so simple and um, it really turned out cute. Um, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And like I said, I got to go back and touch up some spots that um, came undone, but it's coming loose, but... I, I'm hoping my friend will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it for her because um, I I got to walk back down memory lane as I was creating it. Um, so, but my husband, for Valentine's Day, he gave me the cinch. And I was so excited, but I didn't use it because my friend, had I had shown her, she saw the video of the other mini album that I made and she said that she would like to see one of those and she'd like to have one. I don't know that she said she wanted to have one, but she did say she'd like to see it. So I thought, well, I'll just make you one and then you can really see it. So um, I didn't want to use the cinch on it. So I'm going to make um, my daughter one and I'm going to use that for hers. But she's on her way. She's going to be here next week. Uh, for about a month, so I won't be working on it while she's here. She knows I'm going to make her one, but I want it to be a complete surprise when she gets it. So, But I do want to say to you um, YouTubers um, that if someone gives you a mini album, treasure it, because there's so much thought and time that goes into these things. Um, even if you buy one that... that you buy the kit and you have to put it together there's a lot of time and work that goes into that too um and you always personalize or at least i do i personalize everything that i do um and the the very last thing in here i'm into pink and my friend nancy's not a very she's she's a lady but she's not all into the pink so this is the last thing i did i did my pink flower and i put love you barbara and, um, so that's how I personalize, well, it's personalized all the way through it. But, um, anyway, just, if someone makes you a mini album, just be so thankful that they took the time and, and care enough about you to send you something so special. Um, I'm hoping my daughter will learn how to make one, because I'm sure that's probably the only way I'll get one is if she makes it. But, anyway... Um, I, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good week. Bye.